also I finally got my hands on the products from the Mish line. We have her leave-in conditioner made with aloe vera and avocado oil. And lastly, we have the hydrating and twisting butter. So let's jump right into this video. Hey you guys, I am back with another review. Yes, you can tell my hair is still red. Now let me tell y'all what I did. I put this red color in. This is by Gemini Naturals. Again, that's that hair gel. I put this in Friday. Um, so now it's been a couple of days. So it started to fade. When I, you know, took up my bonnet, looked at it, it started to fade. So what I did is just took a little bit of the hair gel and North Sections worked it in. So I plan on reviewing Finally, I know y'all have been waiting on this. I plan on reviewing Misha's line. This is two of her products. We have the leave-in conditioner, and then we have her hydrating and twisting butter. Now, I plan on doing a curly fro using perm rods. The way I want to achieve this, this curly fro look, excuse me, is to twist my hair, but stop midway. I apply a perm rod. These are smaller perm rods, and roll it up. I'm not gonna spiral, because that was my previous look okay we're gonna roll this up and then keep it in for a good 24 hours take it down fluff 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 i'm not really looking for definition i'm looking for a curly fro if that makes sense okay so let's go ahead and get started here again this is the leave-in conditioner it comes in this lovely pump this looks to be about wow 12 ounces that's quite a bit okay i will be having everything below in the description box this is the consistency very nice, the smell. Very light, pleasant smell. Avocado and aloe vera, very interesting. Place a little bit on this section. All right, so now to the hydrating and twisting butter. Look how thick that is. Very thick, look at that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Very, very thick. All right, so one pump of the leave-in conditioner. If you can't tell by now, there's a lot of transfer. I wouldn't say a lot, but a little more than I was anticipating from the hair color. A little bit of the butter. And then we're going to twist. So a little bit more information regarding these products, you guys. The leave-in conditioner is actually called Lavish. It's a three-in-one leave-in conditioner that moisturizes, detangles, softens dry hair. It's a fairly large size product, 12 ounces with a nice pump. Now there are no cones, no alcohol, sulfates, parabens, um, mineral oils in either of these products. The styling product is called Quench Hydrating and Twisting Butter. It is made with Kapasua butter, <laughs> excuse the pronunciation and mango butter it's 8.5 ounces now you guys these products will work well for all hair textures but I found that for my 4b 4c hair it is very very nice so I'm going to continue setting my hair with these perm rods okay
just about done setting my hair. I'm only going to allow it to set overnight. So here I am the very next day. I'm going to use a little bit of oil and slowly take down these perm rods. Now because I rolled the perm rods on to the hair, I'm going to get a different type of look, okay, as opposed to spiraling the hair. I'm going to really, really fluff you guys because again, I'm looking for a curly fro, so I'm not really concerned about a lot of frizz. Um, I just want to have that volume, okay? separate 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 to my heart's desired um, because again I'm looking for a curly fro now there's several ways that you can go about with getting a curly fro you could do flat twistful perm rods you could do bantu knots yeah yeah it's, if you're brave you could do bantu knots but I found that this is just as great um, and then you can create volume by using either an afro pick or heat I'm trying to avoid using as much heat as possible this year um, so I'm going to end up using an afro pick okay
Now I know not everyone will want to do a perm rot set or a curly fro, so I will be coming back on cam in two more weeks with the same products doing a braid up for you guys. You can see here I'm taking an afro pick going to those curls girl. Here is the final look. I'm going to turn around to the side and towards the back of my hair. I didn't end up washing my hair in two more days, didn't have any problems washing out the color. And this is it you guys. I love it. A little frizz, but hey, it's natural hair. Thank you so much for watching and thank you as always to all of my new subscribers. Take care. Bye. Thank you.